Are we really shocked that the place with fake money also has fake news? This week started off with a bang as Cointelegraph, a source of crypto journalism, with almost 2 million followers on X, mistakenly posted false breaking news that a Bitcoin spot ETF from iShares had been approved. This caused a brief but huge pump in Bitcoin's price from 28000 to 30000 before falling right back to where it started 30 minutes later when Cointelegraph corrected itself and confirmed the news was a false report. I'm more mad that there's clearly available money for people to buy Bitcoin with. They've just been holding out on us. This flash-in-the-pan fake news event also resulted in over $70 million of liquidations in long and short orders. After their CEO gave the greatest excuse for the faux pas by blaming society's expectations of up-to-the-second news headlines. No, seriously, here's the clip. This is not a problem of, uh, of journalism per se. It's a problem of the society that... Cointelegraph then published their internal Telegram thread to show how the news was leaked. It starts off by showing how the username deleted account communicated with a redacted name in which they basically screamed before hitting post, despite the fact that the news was never on the Newswire terminal. Despite the SEC's awkward non-efforts of stonewalling approval of the ETFs in which they won't approve them but won't appeal the judge's rulings against their disapproval, it's back to fake news business as usual with amazing headlines like this one. Bitcoin price holds 6% gains but battles for crucial 28k support. Like this bitch didn't just pump two grand in 15 minutes on a rumor. What's more alarming is how many people in a space with internet money named after dogs and sex toys were surprised to learn that most sources in the journalism space about it are just a trust me bro. Guys, maybe we deserve this one. I'm Tupac's of course, I can repost if you enjoyed this quick and useless crypto news.